Hello everyone and welcome to another PAL World video. My name is Brian, if you happen to be new to my channel, but if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming in and checking out this video. We're gonna be diving into setting up DirectX 12 and this mod that will enable ray tracing and honestly make PAL World look even more beautiful than it already does. But there's a couple of different options that I wanna highlight for you, so that way you can make the best choice for your performance and your game experience, especially with PAL World on the PC. Now they're gonna be rolling out lots of updates, so always just be aware that if you're gonna mod your game, there might be a risk to things that happen and might require a little bit of extra tweaking here and there, but the goal of this video is to show you how to do it. So that way, if you have any questions, you can always, of course, sound off in the comments below. I'm here to help you out, but ultimately just make this easy so you can play around with this and see if you like modding these visuals and the enhanced visuals yourself. This also does make me wonder if we'll see some of these options brought into the game at a later state because it does make this game and this world visually impressive. I want to talk to you guys just a little bit about my experience with it visually, uh, as well as the performance of this mod. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You can use the chapter markers in the, the video to jump to any specific section if uh, that interests you the most. You can also find all the links in the description of this video so that way you can go get what you need. And if you guys have any questions, you want to get involved in Pal World in the community here more than ever, the top link in the description will get you to the Discord as well as all the content I make here on the interwebs. All right, let's start with the, the the visuals. Absolutely stunning. It takes it to another level. Very, very impressive. I really appreciate how like it just kind of adds an extra level of polish to the game. And I, I went and pulled up some of my old footage versus some of my new footage. And it was it was stark. They're, like the visual reality. I was like, wow, like I can really tell the difference. It really makes the colors, I think in my mind, pop way more vibrant. Absolutely, really, just really cool. Now, the, the mods themselves, let's kind of highlight this itself, is there's a couple different options that you can choose to use. I went with the highest option with the 24 gigs VRAM and I removed that because I have a 3080 on my PC. And so I had to step down to one of the 12 gigabyte options. But the nice thing is they also have an eight gigabyte option. To do this, you just click manual download. You can use the free download. You don't need to upgrade through Nexus mods uh, in order to have the faster downloads. These files are 1.53 gigs. Like they're very, very small. I said gigs and it even says three KB here. Uh, anyhow, like the files are very small. It's not gonna take you long to download any of these and uh, you're gonna be good to go. But once you've got it downloaded, you might wanna download one or two and we'll walk you through how to set up your INI file in the correct spot here in just a second. But yeah, I've noticed some performance issues majorly because obviously the first and the highest prior, you know, one is designed for a 4090. So if you got a 4090, that's going to be the one that you want. Uh, for me at the 3080, uh, I found this to work out really well and performance actually to be very decent. I did notice some performance issues when I was going into the menus and that in and of itself isn't enough to keep me away or keep me from playing this version of the game, but it is enough to make it noticeable that I want to let you guys know when you're modding the game, if you're not liking it, you can always roll it back and I'll show you and I'll show you how. So let's do just that. Now, download the file that you want to download and unzip it. You're going to see these two different files. You'll see a readme text. You can open that up and it's going to give you the pathway that you want to be able to pull up the local file that you need. You can always just cut, cut or copy in this case. I don't know why it cut, but uh, it is what it is. And then you can essentially go into your location, pop in that address that you put in and it will take you into the right folder here what i would recommend is you can see here i have renamed my original engine ini file to engine backup you to right click you can rename and i would recommend making a backup of the files that you replace that way you don't have to uninstall reinstall or do any kind of other hoops you can literally just delete and rename uh this so if i if i get sick of the mod i can just delete engine and then i can rename it but with a uh, version name you can just drag and drop the file and then you can boot up the game and it's just that simple it adds all the different settings uh that that, that are needed and the game truly truly shines because of this 
Anyway, guys, that is pretty much everything that you need to know about this new mod pack. And as new mods roll out for the game, I'll be sure to give them a test and we'll let you guys know what I think about them and so much more. So hopefully you got something good out of it. And if you like this kind of content and you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment. That way YouTube knows that this is a video that you found useful. And <laughs> but no pressure you can always double tap dislike if you uh if you need but anyway guys that's gonna wrap it up for the video hopefully you enjoyed hopefully i will see you in the next one but until then take care